golden, buttery perfection. Now for the finishing touch. Beth has been sending me pastry murder videos since Evan and I broke up. Um, they look delicious. Oh yeah, no, she's an amazing baker. She would be so pissed if she found out that you and I were, you know, hanging out. Hanging out? What, are you 12? Oh, shut up, what am I supposed to call it? Dating. A couple. A couple? Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe I let you convince me to do this. Oh, it'll be fun. Or it'll be terrible, which is fun in its own way. Hey, you're new. Welcome. I'm Erica, she, her. Casey, Gardner. Those are her pronouns. Oh, sorry, I'm dumb. <laughs> no worries. Uh, glad you're here. Come on, grab a seat and make yourself comfortable. <laughs> She's nice. I mean, her nice. Pronouns. Thanks. Okay. I had a crush on a girl in first grade, and I, I was so excited. I told my best friend, um, but then she said I wasn't allowed to. I've had boyfriends, and well, I, I didn't realize. And then I got my first girlfriend, and everything felt so much more me. I don't, I don't know if that makes sense. It does. Sorry. I, I didn't think I was gonna talk in here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't even wanna come. <laughs> now I'm making it worse. <laughs> okay, well, I should go. I still have to study for this drug test. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, wait! What? I forgot to tell you what I heard about Penelope. <gasps> Ooh, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. No. It was the day I found out about Clayton. I was so excited. And I was on my way to Evans, on my bike. And yeah, I saw them in a parking lot, kissing. That's, I'm so sorry. I guess it's a good thing I don't know how to ride a bike. <laughs> I'd probably ride by my mom doing all kinds of awful shit. Wait, 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 wait. You can't ride a bike? Well, that will not do. What do you mean? Stop scheming. Come on. Fear? I am. Pedal. I'm trying. You suck at this. I'm learning. Dude, look where you're going. Oh my. Are you okay? No. This was a terrible idea. Why do I need to learn how to ride a bike? I'm a klutz. Oh, poor little klutz. Ready to try again? I think you're worth it. Taste the strawberry sun is free. Laughing it's on to the night. Holy crap, you're doing it! Holy crap, I'm doing it! <laughs> I say about leaving this door open? Though wind blew it closed, there was a breeze. In fact, I think I feel it again. Well, it's eight o'clock. Time for Izzy to head out. Okay. And I'll take your phone. I don't have a phone. Very funny. But if you want to succeed at school and training and being a decent, rested human, it's time to go to bed. I agree with her. Bye. I'll call you in a second. No, you will not. You will call her at 4 a.m. when you wake up. No, you will not. <laughs> Hand it over. Or what? Okay, 
see. Elsa. <gasps> Stop! <laughs> <laughs> All right, love you. Same time tomorrow. Same time every damn day. <sighs> I got a citation. What? There's a rule on socks? I, I guess. You see, these socks are strictly for running, but Clayton requires a different sock altogether for walking. Really? Ooh, they should put in a sock vending machine. I saw one of those at a bowling alley once. It was a very classy joint. I wonder if undies are required too. Because ew, no, never. No, it's literally just because we have to wear these dumb skirts. I mean, if boys wear gym socks, you can't see them because they're under their pants. We should say something. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to make a big fuss. And plus, Penelope's not wearing underwear. We should just drop it. Sign my petition. Abolish the Clayton dress code. Okay. Look, I know you don't want to make a big deal out of it, but I don't think we have a choice. I mentioned it at the GSA meeting. In case you, these dress codes are really upsetting to people. I mean, did you know it hasn't been changed in a hundred years? Wow. Literally a hundred years. Well, did you tell the GSA about my sock vending machine idea? And like, what if someone isn't comfortable having to prescribe to these gender norms? Mm -hmm. Like, just because I have a vulva, that means I have to wear a small skirt? Is that the wording in the dress code? Will you just sign it, please? Okay. Yes. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to study for my history exam while I cram some lunch into my face, and then I have to finish my AP Lit reading before practice, so... Maybe later I'll do some bicep curls while delivering a litter of puppies. I'm not busy at all. What's up, dude? Those assholes denied my petition. I got over 500 signatures and they just said no. What can I do to help? Well, I was talking to some of the GSA kids about it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and we could plan a protest. It could be big. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, of course. This is important. Okay, thank you. Oh, hey guys, you hear practice got canceled. Yeah, we're just gonna sit around and gossip all day. Sounds fun, right? <laughs> Yay, fun. Oh, you wanna run? Okay, let's go. Two laps. Hey. Welcome to my brother's silly penguin party. Very nice. You look happy. Yeah, well, I just got back from the GSA meeting, and it was so cool. Mm. I've, I've never done anything like this. Plan a protest? It was so awesome. Oh my god, Is I, I love that. I'm just... What? Um... Would you be really mad if I didn't do it? What? I'm just, I'm worried. I've just been working so hard and I don't want to get in trouble. And, and, and Crowley said, I just don't want to risk everything. Okay, that's fine. We're starting. I'm... Casey, we're starting. Ahem, thank you for coming. This is so exciting. I'm gonna make a lot of enthusiastic sounds to get the crowd riled up. On Tuesday, I realized my purpose, to go to Antarctica, which is why you're here tonight. I'm here cause uh, it's my mom's bridge night and she wants me O-U-T. When I was little, my mom showed me a documentary about the South Pole. That's how I learned it was the coolest place in the world. Ooh. Since then, I've learned every fact I can about it, about the explorers and the landscape and the animals, especially the penguins. Last year, I even adopted a penguin. Aww. But even though I loved it so much, I never thought I could go until I looked at Stumpy and realized that's my next journey. Yay! 
I don't know how I'm gonna get there and what exactly I'm gonna do, but I know I need to go. That's where you come in. Please put donations in Zahid's hat. Thank you. Because you can't spell fundraiser without fedora. You definitely don't know how to spell either of those words. Mm. I put in a thousand. What is happening? I mean, have you people all just lost your minds? This isn't even the tiniest bit realistic. Why not? Seriously? Well, one, Sam's never left the country. Two, he's never been on a plane. Three, he hates camping. Four, he's such a picky eater. And, and the fish don't come in stick form in Antarctica, okay, Sam? And five, Sam can't stand the cold. So figure that one out. And the, the swishing sound of people's snow pants drives him crazy. I'll bet you didn't think about that one, Sam. The just constant swish, 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 swishing of people's snow pants is driving you bonkers. You're gonna lose your freaking mind. <laughs> Sam, I didn't mean to. Sam, no. Casey, I'm just I gonna- I said no, Paige. I should have been more clear. It was Jamaican dollars. so it doesn't all fall apart. Well, um, this is not how we do things at Clayton Prep. Protests? Why didn't you just come talk to me? It never in a million years occurred to me that someone might have a problem with those beautiful uniforms. But I assure you, I would have listened. Well, we did submit a petition. Oh, we, we don't look at those. Look, you two are athletes. You are both here on scholarship. If you lose the support of Clayton Prep, Say goodbye to this amazing, magical place forever. We know. And we didn't mean any disrespect. We just want to be heard. Well, you have been. Loud and clear. You've also been seen. Now you're feeling the sting of punishment. Are you going to do all the senses? Well, that snark just left a sour taste in my mouth. I'm not sure what's going to happen to you two. The school will decide from here. Ugh, nothing. No new emails. I can't believe we haven't heard from Clayton yet. I know, it's freaking me out. I mean, I'm, I'm glad we protested, but if we get suspended or expelled, there goes UCLA for both of us. Yeah, that is what I've been saying this whole time. I never said you were wrong. It's just, justice is more important. Hey, it's gonna be okay. Do you think that's them coming here in person to tell us we're kicked out? preserved it in resin. Wow. Is that a dandelion? Not just a dandelion. That's the world's best dandelion. It's large, perfectly round, every little white fluffer in place. She is a beaut. How did you do it? I paid my nine-year-old cousin in Florida $63 plus the cost of shipping to hunt one down, safely pack it in Tupperware and overnight it to me. Wow. After that, a trip to Michael's and a simple online class in resin flower preservation did the trick. Very impressive. So are we done with this now? We can agree, I am a Lady Shackleton. Alas, this is merely the first task. What's going on? What are you up to, you rat? Nothing, I'm just giving Paige a series of random and impossible tasks to prove that she's reliable. That sounds dumb and mean. <laughs> it is. And I'm gonna crush it. That's the spirit? Now. Bring me a live pig. What? Toodaloo. Hi, 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 hi. You saw the email, right? Did you see the email? Who is this? Oh, shut up. Did you see the email? From Vice Principal Patrick. He loves us. We're not suspended. 
We're not suspended? Nope. We got a warning. What? That's amazing. I know, right? I never thought I'd be so happy to have to go to school. <laughs> Wait, I didn't get an email yet. Why didn't I get an email yet? Maybe they're going alphabetically, Gardner before Taylor? I mean, who cares? We're not suspended. We're not suspended. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna go celebrate the Clayton way by doing a thousand hours of homework and then maybe some training. So, send me a hot selfie? No thanks, have fun. I am going to have a Twinkie. <laughs> All right, bye. Goodbye. <sighs> Turns out Paige is a raving lunatic. Who knew? You mean because she thought the test that you designed to humiliate her was unkind? Exactly. I mean, she's not totally wrong. I was stressed about Clayton stuff, and this is weird, but I think maybe, in a way, I was hoping to get kicked out. What? I just never felt like I fit in there. And this year has been so hard that I just felt like an easy way out of all the stress. But now that we're safe, I'm relieved. I'm not safe. What? I got the email. I'm suspended. What? No, I, I got a warning. Yeah, well, I guess I'm not you. I don't get it. Why did you get suspended and not me? Maybe it's because you organized it? Yeah, maybe. What? I'm just thinking about how she's not gonna be surprised. Who? My mom. In second grade, I had this really cool matchbox car. It was a Camaro. And at recess, this boy James took it and he wouldn't give it back. Did you murder him? I pushed him. That's my girl. I was sent to the principal and they called my mom. And I thought I was gonna be in so much trouble. But you know what she did? Mm -hmm. She left. Mm. She expects me to get kicked out. And here I am. Hey, you didn't get kicked out. You're just taking a mandatory rest from your exhausting work as a crusader for justice, that's all. I'm just scared I'm gonna miss everything. Classes, track, all the crazy stuff you get up to. Uh, don't worry about that. Also grounded me. But, I mean, I'm still allowed to run and go to school and go to practice, so it's basically meaningless, but still. How dare she? Promise you won't have any fun without me. I couldn't. Is Hazel your new girlfriend or what? I had to ask her to bring it. You're grounded, remember? Hmm. You didn't answer my question. That worries me. Is that my take-home test? I'm holding it hostage till you tell me I'm your one and only. <laughs> wow. You realize this is the first time I'm seeing your room. I love it. It's so you. Nice YA collection. Whoa, is this a secret box of jelly beans? Shh. Do you want three kids busting in here tearing that box of shreds? Sorry. Can I have some jelly beans? Oh. You're my one and only. All right. Ugh. I suck at physics. I'm back. Oh no. Oh my gosh, is that your mom? Can I meet your mom? Please, no. We're in here! Casey, look at you! <laughs> I am so glad to finally meet you. This one's been keeping you from me. Hi, Mrs. Taylor. Sasha. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow, you have amazing energy. <sighs> like, your aura is really stunning. You're glowing. Oh, I mean, I jogged here, so I'm just sweaty. <laughs> I like you. You're a good one. I can tell. Ooh, can I do your tarot? Nope. Sure. 
I'll go set up the space. Okay. Come on, it'll be fun. That has not been my experience. Have a jelly bean and be happy. Gosh, aren't we just the cutest? This is exciting. I've never done tarot before. Is that even the right way to say it? Done tarot? No, the right way to say it is let's go hang out in my room instead. Izzy thinks that this is all very silly. She's always been very literal. <laughs> well, I don't think you're a magical fairy who can tell the future. So if that's literal, <laughs> I guess I am. Place them into one deck, please. Oh, wow. I knew it. Oh, Izzy, you're so lucky to be under her canopy. Mm. What? What do they mean? They're pretty. I have a lot of homework, so... Here's what I see. Adventure, hope, positivity. And you'll never be alone. You have a quiet power that other people want to follow. Now, it may not end up like you expected it to, but your path ahead is full of light and luck. And this, my dear, is you. Why haven't I done tarot before? I didn't know it was just free compliments. <laughs> All right, your turn. No. Come on. Those look really different from mine. Did that poor buffalo get stabbed in the eye? Look at that darkness. I mean, it explains the attraction, the light and the dark. I'm done. Her cards are always like this. I started doing her readings when she was seven years old and there was so much anger and bitterness, even then. Why would a seven-year-old be bitter? Oh, maybe it's because she's busy making her sister a bottle while her mom sleeps one off. I see. Well, I have had my hard times, but I certainly did everything I could. No, you haven't. And I'm done here. <sighs> I'm gonna sage you before you go. <sighs> a lot of intense energy in here, huh? She makes me crazy. But it's not an expression. She makes my brain break and then I go crazy. Yeah, I get it. But I mean, it's just stupid tarot. You don't get it. Because you're a fawn in the woods and I'm a bison with swords in its eyes. You know, I don't really think I'm in the mood to hang out. Maybe you should go. I can sit here quietly. I'll be a very quiet fawn in the woods. No, Casey, please. Please leave. Come on. Don't take out your anger at your mom on me. Actually, I think I might also be angry at you. What? Why? I told you I didn't want to hang out with my mom. Okay, well, I wanted to meet her. And you did, and of course she loves you. What does that mean? It's the same reason why I got suspended and you didn't. You have this charmed life, and usually it's whatever, but right now it's really hard to deal with. That's why I asked Hazel to bring me my test and not you. What? That's not... Just go, please. I need some space.
Are you the girl I gave my test to? My brother scribbled all over this one, but you can still read it. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm always saying that to you. I'm sorry I'm always saying that to you. It's okay. I pushed to meet her. Maybe I shouldn't have. You're my girlfriend. Of course you should meet my mom. I just feel like I'm going crazy not going to school. It's so hard to do anything at home, I can't focus. Yeah, yeah I get it. So, you think I'm some golden child that everyone has to tiptoe around? I know your life isn't perfect. I know you're not perfect. It's just, you have these parents that support you so much, it drives you nuts. It's the opposite for me. You have a support system. I am a support system. I'll be your support system. I'll do whatever you need. Can you help me get good at physics? Because <laughs> I think I blew this test. I was thinking something more like, Casey! <laughs> Look at me, I'm supporting! A simple walk can kill you. Your mom made six pies. I couldn't sleep, so I baked. Pies for my sweetie pies. I was training. It was hell, thanks for asking. Yeah, well, I'm thinking Thursday we're gonna drive up to Bear Mountain. It's about a six mile loop. It's really pretty up there. Great, I'll die in nature. Oh, I'm getting changed. So, what are you two lazy butts talking about? Gosh, what were we two lazy butts talking about? I'm trying to convince your mom to come to the Parents Association meeting this week. Yeah. The GSA got the dress code on the agenda. Well, she's not really the PTA type. Ha uh ha. -huh. So you're not giving her up on this dress code issue, huh? No, I can't. I mean, it's not about clothes, it's about identity. I mean, who are we to tell someone what gender expression works for them? That's not my choice to make for someone else, and it certainly isn't the school's choice. Then I will be there, and I shall bring pie. <sighs> What have you done to my beautiful baby's hands? There's someone at the door. You should get that as the lady of the house. Ow. <laughs> oh, I was in the neighborhood at that shoe store. You know, the one that's all wood heels, but they're cute. Oh, is that you? Oh, I, I like your highlights so much better now. Hi. I'm Elsa. Sasha. I'm the mom. Mm -hmm. Izzy's mom. Okay, bye. Thank you. Casey, there you are, you gorgeous thing. <laughs> My first real boyfriend lived in a craftsman house. Mm -hmm. James. He died. Big drinker. Is this house haunted? His was. They often are. Would, would you like a drink or something? No, we're good. This one has ants in her pants. <laughs> Okay, nice to meet you. You should check out that shoe store. I could see you in clogs. She's fun, right? Yeah, I like her. In addition to the daily pain of your betrayal, Dewey ran away. I guess everyone I love leaves me. So I decided to bake something cheerful. Behold, homemade angel food cake topped with strawberries and buttercream frosting, and it's still warm. Just like my lawnmower. Oh, Beth. You will not believe this. I got an A on my physics take home test. Oh, wow. Which is awesome and strange. And then after class, Mr. Ryan asked me all these questions about where I took the test and whether I was supervised by anyone. And then he mentioned the Clayton Moral Code. And I realized this guy thinks I cheated. I was so pissed. I mean, I may suck at physics, but I'm not a cheater. Oh no. What did you tell him? I told him that was a completely inappropriate accusation and that he should feel ashamed of himself. And then I stomped out. I mean, he's lucky I didn't smash his little model catapult. 
I did it. What? I looked at the test you gave me and I changed a couple answers. I'm so sorry. I just... You missed a couple and so I filled them out and then I kept going. Do you like feel bad for me? Do you think I'm dumb? No, not at all. You said it was your worst subject, so I, I was just trying to be supportive. I'll go talk to him. I'll tell him it was all me. He can't prove anything. That's why he wants me to admit it. Just, just drop it. I'm sorry. Are you mad? No. Really? I gotta get to class. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry. I know, and maybe I overreacted, but I don't know how to explain this. Our lives are so different. When my mom has insomnia, she drinks herself to sleep. When your mom has insomnia, she bakes pie. I just felt like you saw what my life was like and thought less of me. What? No. I saw how hard things are and I wanted to help. I just did it in a really dumb way. Look, there's so much I don't know about myself right now, but I know that I'm a protector. And if I think someone I love is in trouble, I try to help. You love me? Of course I love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> I have something for you. What is this? Isn't it obvious? It's tarot. You made these? I figured you deserve at least one good reading in your lifetime. Oh, this is an excellent one, actually. The Slurpee card. You are brave. Brave enough to tell people how you feel, even if it's scary. And people follow you because you are wise. And very, very beautiful. <laughs> Listen to the magic of the tarot. Next, the winged shoe. Mm -hmm. You are fast as the wind. Courage will take you far. And you are very, very beautiful. <laughs> and finally, ooh, this one is especially witchy. The righteous voice. You care. And you speak up for people. Because no one ever spoke up for you. That is why I do it. And you are very. <laughs> Hey, so I was looking through your bag to find a t-shirt to steal. Invasive. And you realize that all you packed are like a bunch of socks and a sports bra, right? Yeah, I know. I packed up pretty quickly. <laughs> My mom kicked me out. Oh, I didn't... What happened? Oh, you know, just my mom being my mom. I was gonna tell you, but I didn't want to talk about it right away. It's okay, I understand. Do you want to go to a party? <laughs> Erica's having some people over and it might be fun. I love fun, um, but what about the track meet? I mean, shouldn't we be like resting up? Probably, mm. but I told her I'd be there. But it's okay, I'll just go by myself. No, I'll go with you. You will? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I love parties and I love people, so I'm kind of a party person. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> At least it's a cute bet, though. I appreciate the days of the week underwear. You know, you lose track of time, you just glance at your tush. Right. <laughs> oh, you two are like the perfect couple. I am never gonna find this. Oh no, we have issues too. 
Yeah, she has really sharp toenails. They're actually more like talons. Mm. She just did a test for me last week. No, are you serious? Yeah, but I'm not mad about it anymore. There is just this one tiny thing that still bothers me. What? Well, I just know if the school found out, nothing would happen to Casey. Like, like if she just walked in there and turned herself in. But if they thought it was me, I mean, I would be kicked out for sure. Casey's just like, untouchable. <laughs> that, no way. That's crazy. I'll bet you $100. Oh! That's not true. What? That I have $100? You're right about that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is he breakfast? Oh, no. It's okay. Just coffee, please. How about just eggs and bacon and fruit and pie? I mean, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Check this out. It's from UCLA. What is this? Are you opening my mail? Well, I'm sorry. It, it said UCLA. I got excited. It's an official letter of interest. That means they're really interested in you. They're even going to send a recruiter to watch you run at the next race. Our little speedster. I am so proud of you, Casey. Me too. It's happening. For both of us. No. For you. No time to let up now. Pedal to the metal, right? You didn't really turn yourself in, did you? I tried. You were right. I guess I owe you $100. Why would you do that? Because of what I said at the party? I was just being dumb. I didn't want you to actually do it. Yeah, I know. I just, I felt like I had to. Okay, well, I'm glad you didn't get suspended. We need you. The team needs you. You're important. You know it's okay for people to recognize you're special. Ugh. It was less stressful when no one noticed me at all. I think that's her. Yeah, I guess. Runners, take your run. Come on, let's ask. Are you hurt? No. Are you sick? No, I'm... What? I don't know. You're freaking me out. 
Um, I just... I couldn't do it. Do what? Run? Yeah. It was just too much. People expect too much from me. Okay. I just couldn't breathe. Oh, no. I mean, track used to be fun. It used to be the only time I could breathe. But today I couldn't. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Instead of people being happy for Mighty Mo, they were worried. They thought it was too much for a young girl to handle. Slow down. Hi. Hey, I missed you. Get over here. <laughs> you seem so good. <laughs> I'm glad you seem so good. I feel good. I haven't run in a week. Whoa, really? Yeah. You're gonna have to work hard to get back into shape. No, I won't. Cocky again, too. I love it. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm quitting track. What? Why? You love track, and you're on your way to UCLA, I know it. And if you quit, you're gonna lose your Clayton scholarship. I know all that, and I've thought about this a lot. I used to love running so much. It was the only thing I loved that much. And ever since the UCLA stuff, the love has just changed. It's become stress and anxiety. It's a pit in my stomach. No. I mean, running is who you are. It's who we are. No, it's not. I can do this. It feels good to know that I can quit at any time. And what about Clayton? I don't like Clayton. I never did. I like you. And I don't want to lose you. But we don't have to go to the same school to be together. Maybe you just need more time. No, I don't. I'm doing this. After years of all that stress, Mighty Mo quit running. Don't worry. And hey, now I'm gonna have a lot more time for the things I love. Like you. Well, you're not a thing. Mm. You're a person. <laughs> <laughs> I used to hate that part of her story. I mean, it's weird that they're the only one with the root beer flavor. It's clearly the best one. Hey, are you okay? I think we need to break up. What? I'm not good for you. You haven't been yourself the last few months. You've been stressed and anxious and pulling away from anything that's not school. What? No. And now you want to quit track. This isn't you. Everything changed once we started dating. I don't want to be the reason you don't do the things you want to do. But that's not even I'm what I'm sorry. About. Is he? Wow. You're really doing it. You're leaving. Yeah. It's, it's not because of me, is it? No. I mean, you know better than anyone. I don't want to be here. I never have. Do you want to talk? I'm not ready to. OK. I just wanted to ask you, I got an invitation to your brother's going away party, and I wanted to go for Sam. Yeah. Is that weird? Well, you should know. It's also a party for a testicle, so. Yeah. <laughs> the evite was very clear. <laughs> <laughs> it's not weird. You should come. OK. Is your dad going to be there? Yeah, probably. Why? I know it's late. It's OK. It wasn't fair, what you did. Breaking up with me like that, it wasn't fair. 
I mean, if you break up with me because you're not in love with me, fine. It makes me want to puke, but fine. That's not it. But if it's because you think it's what's best for me, that is so condescending. I can decide what's best. I can decide what I need. I know. And just because I'm having a hard time doesn't mean that I'm broken. I didn't know what to do. All you had to do was be there. Just be my girlfriend. But that was the problem. Me being your girlfriend was making everything worse. Why would you think that? Because it's true. I mean, think about when we met. I was so mean. And then we got together and I kissed someone else. It's what I do. I ruin things. I'm a ruiner. Stop it. Don't talk about yourself like that. It was condescending. I just convinced myself that I was gonna mess things up with us. And when you were so, so upset, I blamed myself. But you're right. I shouldn't have. And now all I wanna do is kiss you. I'm okay with that. I'm so damn cold, but you made Are we still a couple when you go back to Newton? Yeah, of course. My mom isn't here. Do you wanna stay? Yeah. Okay. Are you sure you're ready to? Yeah. Is that a tattoo? Yeah, I'm a bad boy. <laughs> So, this thing happened. Elsa tricked me. You think she's nice, but she's nothing but trouble. Mm-hmm. I mean, she completely lied to me. She made me eat healthy snacks. She talked my ear off. What are you trying to tell me? I met with a scout from UCLA. Wow. So did I. Really? Yeah. Emily? Emily. Holy crap. I know. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna happen. But if either of us gets in, that person needs to go. Whether or not the other one does. Promise? Promise. Forehead promise? <laughs> Forehead promise. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>